Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and my dad is here again. Uh, this video we're going to be doing a character analysis, just a deeper in depth of some of the characters in Black Panther and like how they um, went through life in the movie and then he has knowledge of the comic book so he will be mentioning how they're different or the same in the comic books. Um, so let's get started in this video. So let's start off with the main character of Black Panther, Black Panther himself, T'Challa, the king of Wakanda. So uh, what I want to do is, I, I got this book right here, it's called The Black Panther is the Ultimate Guide. Uh, you can pick this up at your local comic book store, you can get it at Barnes & Noble or any other uh, bookstore. It really is a great resource, so if, you, if you've seen The Black Panther and you, know, you want to learn more about the characters, you know, this real book is excellent. It, you know, really has an illustrated, um, you know, great illustrations, great um, uh, topics on, you know, all the different history, you know, the 40 plus year, 50 plus years history of Black Panther. But, mm -hmm. you know, T'Challa, T'Challa was a pretty accurate uh, for the most part. And once again, there's been 50 years of comics, you know, mm -hmm. hundreds of instances of not only T'Challa appearing in his series over the 50 years, but, you know, he was first introduced in the Fantastic Four. He's been a member of the Avengers. What people don't know about, uh, we don't know yet, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is, the reason why T'Challa joined the Avengers, he actually joined the Avengers to spy on the Avengers. Uh, you know, him being the king of Wakanda, when he started hearing about this super group in the United States that had, you know, the gods and on their team and Thor and, you know, mm -hmm. Iron Man. He wanted to make sure that the Avengers were a force for good and that they weren't going to pose a threat to Wakanda. So he mm -hmm. actually joined the Avengers to spy on them. Oh, yeah. To yeah, make sure that, that they weren't going to pose mm -hmm. a, a challenge or a threat to Wakanda. Mm -hmm. And so that's how he joined and he was actually um, introduced him to the Avengers uh, through his friendship with Captain America. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who know, uh, Captain America's shield is made out of vibranium, which comes from Wakanda. Wakanda. But you know, mm -hmm. the, you know, there's been, there's been different iterations of uh, the Chal over the years, but for the most part, you know, Chadwick Boseman did a fantastic job of bringing to life 50 years of um, Black Panther onto the screen. Mm -hmm. And now for Killmonger, the villain that is in the movie. So Killmonger was a little bit, actually, Killmonger is is quite a bit different in, in the book. So oh, really? in, in the books, uh, Killmonger is not related to um, the Black Panther. So oh. in, the oh. in the movie, Killmonger is a cousin, first cousin of mm -hmm. Black Panther. So in the movie, they have Killmonger as Black Panther's uh, father, the, the father of Black Panther and the father of Killmonger being... Uh, first cousin being Brothers. brothers. Mm -hmm. and so that makes them first cousins. Well, it's not that way in the comic books. Killmonger was a, uh, he is Wakandan. Mm -hmm. um, his parents were Wakandan. They were actually killed, um, his parents were actually killed by Claw. So Wakabi and, Wakabi and Killmonger's story like switched then? They kind of switched. Well, actually in, in the comic books, Black Panther's parent, uh, father was killed by Claw. So Wakabi and Black Panther's story kind of switched. Yeah. Because Black Panther's father wasn't killed in the in the comics. He wasn't killed at the embassy like in mm -hmm. Civil War. Mm -hmm. His father was actually killed by Claw. Uh, and so, you know, they changed a little bit for for the movies. Yeah. And so, but there has been, you know, his, you know, uh, Killmonger was, um, you know, he was exiled from Wakanda because his. And so he has, you know, he has fought Black Panther several times, mm -hmm. you know, during that fifth year. And Black Panther has never defeated Killmonger one-on-one. -on -one oh, in the really? Comics. He's never defeated him one-on-one. -on -one. Does he have, like, all the... the he, he doesn't have the little, you the know, the, all the little tick marks and all that. He actually, oh. in the comics, he fights with his leopard. He has a leopard called Prey oh. that he fights with. And, you know, he's highly educated and mm -hmm. went to... You know, went to all these Ivy League schools and oh, so the like school aspect, like yeah. going MIT and like yeah, so all the army. That's yeah, that's he's right? okay. very very intelligent. And 
he, he's a cool character in the books, but I, I really prefer the version that they did in, in the comic books. He's more yeah. fleshed out. So. Yeah. I, I would start with Shuri. Shuri? Okay. Because yeah, Shuri probably has the most impact. So in the comic, Shuri is a little old. She's older than they portray her. Oh, yeah, she's, she's, how old do you think she's in the movie? Like in, in the movie, she's probably 15 and six or 16. Yeah, she's Black Panther's younger sister. Yeah, she, she's a tech genius in the movie. Um, and, and in fact, I was listening to interviews because I did a lot of you know you you know <laughs> wait, waiting for Black Panther when you know they showed the first video seven months ago the trailer and so you know just trying to absorb as much as I can yeah. as, <laughs> little kid that was coming out of the last several months. Mm -hmm. But when they were talking about Shuri, they were saying that her intellect is on a par or even she she's either as smart or smarter than Tony Stark. Oh wow! And so as we know, Tony Stark. Tony Stark. Tony, Tony Stark. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> so Tony Stark right now is the smartest person yeah. in, the, in the Marvel universe, and that's mm -hmm. until Reed Richards comes because now Marvel has the Fantastic Four rights. Yeah. But you know, for this 16-year-old, you know, African young woman, mm -hmm. to you know, she's the leader of the Wakandan Design Group, and you know, they, you know, their technology is just out of this world, but. So, you know, right now, 16 years old, um, this, you know, genius. Yeah. In the comics, um, Shuri is probably a little bit younger than than uh, T'Challa. Mm -hmm. Shuri, for a little bit, actually becomes the Black Panther. Oh, really? So, at one point, she, she becomes the Black Panther. Oh. So, um, she, she's not as, she's smart in the comics, but she's not... You know, she's not this super genius like she is in the, in the movie. movie. She she doesn't design all of their stuff like she does in the movie, but she's more of a warrior. You know, she's um, <clears throat> she she's very intelligent, but you know, she's not how they depicted her in the movie. But she's more, she's definitely this huge warrior because they didn't show her fight at all. Mm -mm, just um, like a little... But in the in the comic, she's she is as. Great of fighters, um, the Black Panther, the child, and actually becomes a Black Panther for wow. for a bit. So, yes. do you think like in Avengers, she's gonna work with Iron Man? Like, oh yeah, they're both like yeah. technology. I, I think definitely in Avengers, they're gonna have a scene when it's her. And um, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised that she's gonna do something with Iron Man's armor. Yeah, do you think she'll turn into yeah. vibranium? Yeah, I think I think his armor is gonna. Um, it's going to work like Black Panthers in the new movie. Oh. So I wouldn't be surprised if now that um, Wakanda is opening itself up, yeah. I think they're going to show a scene where she's going to be showing Iron Man some stuff and he's going to adapt her technology mm. and kind of do some stuff. And in the comic, there's something called Extremist where his armor was working like that, mm -hmm. but we haven't really seen that in the movie. So yeah, I, think, I, the movie. I think they're going to do something where she she's the one who kind of shows him how to do that. Oh, okay. So, so Nakia, like in the movie, that's what I thought, she was a spy like at right. first, and she was like, in the very beginning, like they did like a rescue mission to go rescue her. So like, well not rescue her, because she was like doing her own mission, but was she there to like, get those women out of that situation from being kidnapped? Or? Yeah, yeah, so she, so it looked like in the movie, she was on an undercover yeah. mission, and they were, they had to interrupt her because, um, they wanted her, and they're, you know, and they were in Africa, mm -hmm. and you know, parts of Africa is in as enlightened as yeah. um, Wakanda was. So it looks like she had got caught by some slavers, yeah, and that she was had infiltrated uh, to 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 do that. But in in the actual comic book, Nakia is not the same person that she is really in, in, in the uh, movie. So in the comic book, Nakia was actually uh, one of the door Milaje, and that that's. And even the Dora Milaje have a different function in the comic book. So in the comic book, the Dora Milaje are a little bit younger. And they they all come from different tribes. You know, at the, the beginning of the movie, it talked about how the how the tribes, you know, five tribes of, yeah. um, formed Wakanda. Mm -hmm. Well, in the in the comic book, the Dora Milaje, each tribe, they provide uh, their young women, like a representative, you know, and what they do is, they yeah they serve as T'Challa's um, bodyguards, but they also are quote unquote wives in training. Oh. So, if he wanted to, when it's time for him to become, you know, choose a queen, mm -hmm. he could pick one of these Dora Milaje as 
the, the queen. queen. Oh, okay. And so that's that's their function, and it's changed over the years. You know, this is something that started, you know, forty years ago, thirty years yeah, ago. Yeah, when the women and so, in the kitchen. Like, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and so it's changed. You know, <laughs> as we become more modern, and yeah. you know, since you know, since sensibilities have changed. Yeah. Now the Dora Milaje has changed. Yeah, it's been updated. Yeah. But that's how the Dora Milaje started out. Well, Nakia, okay. um, back in the nineties. She was one of the Dora Milaje, and, and again, the Dora Milaje were a little bit younger, so a lot of them, they were like, um, you know, 16, 17, oh, 18 years old. They're like so 30 they're, years yeah, older in the movie. Yeah, so these, these were like young girls. Yeah. And so Nakia in the comic, she actually fell in love with T'Challa, mm -hmm. and she actually turned into a villain called Malice. Wow. Because she was in love with T'Challa, and... You know, they ended up, I can't remember what happened, but they ended up kissing one time. Mm -hmm. And so the child broke it off. They didn't do anything, but the child broke it off and she got infatuated with him. Mm -hmm. she, she thought that he had chosen her and he had broken it off. And so she, she kind of went crazy. Oh, <laughs> so she became like a bitch. I don't think they'll do that. In the yeah, movie. so I don't think yeah, they're going to do that. Because I mean, what it looked like at the end yeah. that she like accepted to be like the queen. Yeah. That's what it seemed like. In well, the, in the well, movie. well, maybe. Yeah, maybe like. He told her to stay, and she well, said, yeah, well, but we don't because know who's the queen. <laughs> one thing that, and I am so happy, when uh, what happened back in February, mm -hmm. Marvel got the rights to um, all of their characters back from Fox. Mm -hmm. Now, why this is so important is because they Marvel now has the rights to the Fantastic Four, but more importantly, they have the rights to the X-Men. And why that's important for the Black Panther is oh, Storm, Storm of Panther. the X Men is actually the wife of the Black Panther in the comics. Oh, ooh, and shoot. And so that's why that's so important. Do you think they'll still have Halle Berry be Storm, or that I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I don't know if they'll switch from yeah. the people that were. So in the I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do a movie that shows uh, because there was a great, this was a great comic series. It was a, a limited series that showed. Black Panther when he was about 15 and Storm and showed when they first met oh. and so you know I wouldn't be surprised if they had a movie that showed the two of them mm -hmm. how they introduce her into the you know if they do this which yeah it, it would be fantastic that would be cool to see especially you know, as they got the rights back Maybe yeah that's yeah. why they wanted it so bad so they could you right, know, right. so now you have all these other stories that they can finally tell yeah uh, so you know just think about that Storm and the Black Panther actually um, and right now they're, you know, they they've gone through their stuff. They were separated, but now they're getting back together. So mm -hmm. just having that possibility on the stage, on the Ooh, screen, is, that'll is, be is interesting great. to see. So as much as I like Nakia, if you get it, if you get a storm, <laughs> hey, <laughs> just just think of a kid who is the son of the Black Panther and Storm. That would, oh my lord, yeah. that'd be awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then Okoye, who's like the general. Yeah, so Okoye, once again, not as prominent as she is in the movie. You mm -hmm. know, I love what they did with her character in the movie. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once again, one, one of the um, Dora Milaje. She is the head of the Dora Milaje. Um, and in the movie, they have her more as she's the general of the all of the Wakandan forces. Mm -hmm. um, in the comics, um, she's the head of the, of the um, Dora Milaje. And the oh, Dora okay. Milaje is like the special forces of... Uh, inside of Wakanda, mm -hmm. and so a little bit more. They expanded her role for the for the. Yeah, for I actually movie. like her role better. Yeah, I like the in, role. In, it was really movie. cool. Yeah. Um. So Wakabi yeah. is he like or yeah Wakabi? Yeah, well, Wakabi is more of a, probably a minor character. Minor and, character. Yeah, and I gotta go back and read some more on him because I I re vaguely remember his role, but I don't remember it as much. Mm -hmm. uh, the the mother, uh, Ramonda, has a huge role. Yeah. Um, and in the comics, um, she she she's huge in the comics. She was like in the movie, but like it wasn't like a huge like yeah. part in the movie. Like yeah. it more focused, you know, obviously on the Black Panther, his sister, yeah, Akoya and Nakia. Like yeah. she was just you know there, but like she wasn't like her story wasn't told as yeah. much. In the yeah, yeah. In the comics, she 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 has a real mm -hmm. she's real big in the comics. Um, um, the the part that Forrest Whitaker Zuri is is pretty big uh, back in the '90s series in particular. Little, looks a little bit different, and in, in the comics he was a big buff dude, oh. younger. Uh, he was the best friend of T'Challa's father, so uh, more of a spiritual guy for for, but but more of a bodyguard too. So a little bit different, you know. With Forrest Whitaker, the 
you know, they can't show them as a bodyguard, so they yeah. <coughs> they change them up a little bit for the movies. But mm -hmm. Oh, right? so so in the in, in Baku. Yeah. Oh, in Baku. Yeah. What was, the, 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 the Jabari tribe. Okay. Yeah. So so they. <laughs> so Baku. so in Baku. He was like the he they, was like the comic. Yeah. The so, so so they had to change his tie his title. So once again, remember the Black Panther came out in the 1960s, early 70s. So his 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 comic book quote unquote name is the Man Ape. Oh. God. So <laughs> that, that won't play nowadays. Yeah, if, if, if they <laughs> called him the Man Ape and he had like a gorilla you know costume, that you know people yeah, that that lost their yeah. So but his name is Mbaku. So Mbaku. they so they just called him Mbaku. He, he was pretty accurate. Really? That was a pretty accurate portrayal of him because him and T'Challa have had this on again, off again. And that, that whole part of him being a traditionalist, mm -hmm. he doesn't like Wakanda because their technology and all yeah. of that. His tribe is more, you know, tradition, you know, they, they don't like, you know, women shouldn't be... Um, should be in their place, the men, mm -hmm. and they don't like all the technology that that um, Wakanda has. Yeah. So, so that was pretty. That was pretty accurate. You know, like I said, they they did have to change his name, the yeah. man name, to, to <laughs> It was pretty but. funny though, like little <coughs> things he was doing. Right. But I thought it was really cool, like because he could have taken the plant right, to become right. like strength of the Black Panther, but right. he you know saved T'Challa and the. Right. Was there like a part like that in the Yeah, they, they they they. They actually, when when Black Panther and Storm got married, they actually invited Mbaku, and he was Mbaku would get mad when when he got when they um, when Black Panther and Storm were getting married, he got all mad because he didn't think he was going to get an invitation, oh. so they were getting ready to invade. <laughs> you know, oh my god! And so someone he got an inv invitation to yeah. the wedding, and all you know he calmed down. He's like, okay. He, he came to the wedding. He was all cool. Oh my god! But then he caused a fight. Him and Spider Man got into a fight at Storm and Black Panther's wedding. So. Oh my god! But yeah, it was you know. It was, see, that would be cool to like see in the future, right, like right, all right. these characters oh, yeah. coming together. Well, that's like, what that's what we're gonna get in three months. Yeah. It's going Well, I mean, Avengers is right. just one movie though, but like those little storylines, yeah. like they should just you know instead of having like a Spider Man, look, we need yeah. those movies just to, to see how they came to be who yeah. they are, but like seeing those little things, like they can make so many movies. Oh, yeah. Out of all these characters, yeah. and you'll probably see that more in like the comic, the, yeah. the animated because you yeah, know, yeah, the animated. If, if you do a shows. movie, you got millions of dollars. You got to pay for these people's salary. But, but like yeah. Ant Man and Wasp, I was yeah. surpri surprised they were doing a movie oh, yeah. for Ant Man and Wasp because I yeah. know like that was a big part of Ant Man's story, but they didn't mention it. But yeah. I guess Ant Man did pretty well. Oh yeah, in movies yeah. that they had a sequel with Wasp. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be exciting to see what Marvel does next. And yeah. Can't wait for uh, Avengers. Avengers Infinity War is going to be off the hook. We're probably going to see it like 20 times in you, a month. You, you, <laughs> you're you're going to, you guys have no idea what you're in for. Because mm -hmm. um, if you follow, all I got to say is Thanos is going to wreck shop. <laughs> there, there, there's a reason why all of these heroes are in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Because Thanos... Exactly is going to come. I am predicting probably four to five of our heroes are going to get killed in this movie. Jeez, that's going to be crazy. At least. Yeah. Than Than people have no idea what Thanos is going to do. And the game, like the Avenger game that we used to play all the time, is yeah. Thanos the guy that had like the huge thing on his head? Like the huge purple guy that was yeah, like, he, in space? Yeah, that was Thanos because yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah, he wears true. the Infinity Gauntlet. I have the Infinity Gauntlet over there on my... You know, I'll go get it so you can see But it. Thanos... Um, the the stones that he's putting together, Infinity Gauntlet gives him. He basically is gonna be God, you know, because yeah. he'll have power over time, power, uh, space, reality, and I'm forgetting the other one. But he will he will literally have, you know, he'll be you know, just right under Big G God as far as power. Mm -hmm. So you know, all of these heroes won't be able to touch him when he when he comes out. Well, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys next time when we have another video like this. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, and we have a guest today. This is my dad, Sean, and we are going to be doing a reaction video to Black Panther.